home crowd, home track, although interestingly, he hasn't raced it, has he, since he was 17, so you might think home advantage, you'll know it's like the back of his hand. Not the case. Skimming the road. But it's important to make a good exit because now you've got this big, long, straight, but steep hill as well. So you want to make as much ground as you can up here into the 130R, one of the fastest corners in racing, flat out, not so much as a sniff of a lift there, and into the chicane where we saw seven. Well, we're on board with uh, Fernando Alonso. Look, his left hand is covering a hole in the side of the cockpit. His right hand, he's looking down now, adjusting the brake balance. A... Went too far. Ferrari opened the Pandora's box when everyone saw Fernando Alonso driving one-handed at the Spanish Grand Prix. on the throttle pedal towards the right hand kink for the braking zone of the hairpin down to just 50 miles an hour great patience going on tried to throttle a bit now he's full throttle left hand straight onto the after this series of sweeping long right hand bends absolutely easy for these modern formula one cars and we're trying to spot a braking point for spoon corner 190 miles an hour down to 140 for the middle part down to 115 for the final ever tightening part of spoon uses all of the track available left hand back onto that f duck he wants top speed towards 130r the engine is singing towards 18,000 revs turns in at 190 no hint of a lift of throttle just the final chicane to go brake down to just 60 miles an hour five downshifts avoid the initial curb so as not to destabilize the car slam the throttle down traction is absolutely perfect as we accelerate towards the line a brilliant lap it's, it's kind of very uh, we know that all the cars will start the race, all the competitive cars will start the race with too little fuel. Probably have two laps to Schumacher at the moment. But uh, maybe he'll choose to save his fuel now so he can push harder later on in the uh, 